Today we are at Watts Empowerment Center in Council District 15, also known as the 1-5, to celebrate the announcement of three areas where we have resources going for our repair program, serving some of the communities that have been wrong for so long. Many months ago, we announced this program and we invited people to participate. We said we had set aside money and we asked them to vote on those issues that would address issues within their community. And today, we announced winners. And I was so honored that we were here at the Watts Empowerment Center, one of the winners of that deliberation process that the public engaged in. And we were also announcing that we're going to be moving on to the next area, which happens also to be in the 1-5. We're gonna be down in the Harbor Gateway, Wilmington and Harbor City. These are communities where the COVID-19 mortality rates skyrocket. These are the communities that deal with food deserts, environmental hazards, and everything else that could go wrong. And we, as the city of Los Angeles, along with the support of our mayor and our city council, have said no more. We are going to stand up and we're going to start to help the people that are helping the people. So I'm here representing the Charles Drew University Kedron Street Medicine Program. We were one of the recipients of the LA Repair Grant for the Southeast LA Repair Zone. And so I help co-direct our street medicine program and we go out into the community and we provide free primary health care services to medically underserved populations. We are just ecstatic that the City Council had the forewithal to say that we want to set aside this money for these nonprofits who the community will select. So, yeah, it's going to have a significant impact. So, Proyecto Pastoral is a nonprofit organization in the community of Boyle Heights, and the grant that we were awarded will help us provide rental assistance for residents. And so, in the budget right now, we are planning to serve about 100 families. And we're very humbled and proud to have been selected by our community to be able to disperse this money that I think will have a great impact in keeping people housed. We want to be intentional as a city to say we see you, we support you, and as you lift others, we will lift you as well. So today is a good day. Oh, you're so <laughs>